Good morning, everyone. Welcome, Panama City SDA Church members, and welcome to all of those who are visiting with us. You're joining us online via Facebook. We're glad to have you. And this morning is day six of our 10 days of prayer, priorities of faith. We have been having a great time with the Lord, and we invite you now to join us and to share the link. Share the link with your families and your friends so that they too can benefit from the blessings that we're receiving. This morning, God welcomes us to his audience chamber. You know, we come to God by special invitation, and he, he, want, he wants to welcome us to his, to, his, to his audience chamber. You know, Sister White says that the first disciples who who followed Jesus, were not satisfied with just a, a hurried conversation. By the way, they said, Lord, where, where, where do you live? They came and they saw him and they stayed with him. So this morning, we are going to be staying um, with the Lord as we pray and as we talk to him. Please place your, your prayer requests in the chat so we can pray on your behalf. We want to spend time communing with the Lord. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Amen. We're reminded that the Lord will not never disappoint any of us who trust in him. So this morning we're going to spend time with him and we're going to sing um, to begin. Um, we're going to sing, trust and, and obey, but let us pray. Lord, thank you so much for inviting us into your presence. We praise you, we adore you, we magnify your name. Help, Lord, that everything that we say, we be according to your name's honor and glory. Be with all of us as we celebrate you, Jesus, this morning. Amen. Trust and obey. Amen. Trust and obey. This morning, we have with us um, Jacob Martin, who will be doing their presentations. We invite Jacob to come with us at this time. Hi, guys. Good morning. So, you know, today's topic is on grit, passion, and perseverance. And um, I think you know, being in the health ministry aspect of the church in the new year, a lot of people have, um, you know, want to bring this grit, passion, and perseverance into the new year. You know, grit, the definition, they say grit is the passion and the perseverance of pursuing a goal we deeply care about. Without it, success is not likely. So, you know, when you think about the new year, what are some goals that a lot of people have in mind? Well, a lot of people have, you know, that they want to obtain, you know, weight loss is a big goal for many people, you know, and rightly so. Uh, we actually probably, I would say, have a pandemic of lack of grit. You know, we're going to get to the spiritual aspect of grit, which is arguably the most important, but let's talk about the health aspect of grit. So, um, with weight loss, you know, we talk about obesity. So first off, the definition of obesity. Obesity is defined as a BMI, what's called 30 or higher. Now, basically, it's a calculation of your height to your weight. Um, now, some, some statistics about obesity. So, you know, 4 million people die each year as a result of obesity. That's according to the World Health Organization. Now, obesity, no one's born obese, unfortunately. You know, um, People have, you know, some genetic predisposition for it, for sure. Um, and it, it's easier for some for weight loss than others. Um, but certainly it is, a, it is something that is obtained, you know, over time. You know, it says 4 million people die each year as a result of this. The worldwide obesity rate has nearly doubled since 1980. You know, medical costs for those with obesity are 30 to 40 percent higher than those without it. Um, right now, they think this is back in 2020. So unfortunately, three years old data, it's probably a lot worse than this now, but 41.9% of adults in the U.S. have obesity. You know, the same data said that 19.7% of adults and children in the U.S. and 14.7 million individuals have um, 
obesity. That's kids. You're talking almost 20%. Um, you know, the same um, data set um, talks about in worldwide, there's more than a billion people that have obesity. That's 650 million adults, 340 million adolescents, and 40 million children. You know, and how does this apply to our grit and our perseverance and our passion? Well, you know, obesity is, um, you know, comes as a lack of good diet, you know, and a lack of exercise, right? You're not um, coming in every single day with that uh, goal in mind, you know, but there is something you can do about it. You know, it's a, so let's talk specifically about exercise. So today, you know, the, the grit that it takes to overcome, you know, uh, overweight, obesity, uh, all these negative aspects of it. Um, the grit, the perseverance, the persistence, one of the tools would be the grit, the persistence of exercise. So today, less than 5% of adults participate in 30 minutes of physical activity each day, less than 5%. You know, the percentage of adults that meet the, let's say, um, cardio, so doing, you know, uh, running, walking, cycling, daily walking. This is from 2018. They say the percentage of adults that meet the criteria for both cardio and strength training. So from, um, let's pick a couple age ranges from 18 to 24, say about 33%. Not bad. So 45 to 54 age range, only 22%. From 65 to 74%, only 15.7%. And 75 and older, only 8.7%. Um, you know, one in five deaths, it said in the U S is caused by heart disease, you know, in physical activity, inactivity and a sedentary lifestyle. So all these things are from us not taking that grit, not taking that perseverance towards our uh, physical well being and health. You know, it said higher levels of physical activity are associated with a 21% reduction in heart attacks in men and a 30% reduction in women. Um, you know, meeting the minimum activity guidelines, which is like 200 minutes a day total of activity. That's like moderate intensity activity. So that would be with just walking or jogging or something like that may prevent about 46% of deaths caused by inactivity. 46%. If there was a medication that presented 46% of deaths, it would be the most best selling thing in the world. You know, it says the medically proven health benefits of regular physical activity include a 50% lower risk of type 2 diabetes, 50% lower risk of colon cancer. There's a 30% lower risk of early death. There's a 30% lower risk of falls from the older and elderly, 30% lower risk of depression, 30% lower risk of dementia. You know, other benefits of regular exercise include an 83% reduction of osteoarthritis, 68% reduction of hips fracture, 35% lower risk of coronary or heart disease and stroke, and 20% lower risk of breast cancer. So I just bring this up as kind of like a, you know, a, um, uh, just because it's a hot topic in the new year, weight loss, you know, obesity, um, and you just want to that's that's a direct application you can take. You use that grit, that perseverance for weight loss. You got to stay persistent. You got to have the passion, you know, or the the lack thereof. Um, we talked about all the negative aspects. So let's talk about you know the spiritual application of grit. You know, we definitely do need that physical application for sure. Um, but arguably more important, let's say, is the spiritual aspect. So. There's a there's a story that the the lesson talks about in the Bible about uh, grit. So it's specifically Luke 18, 1 to 7. So in Luke 18, 1 to 7, I'll read it here. So it's a parable of the persistent widow. So one day Jesus told his disciples a story to show that they should always pray and never give up. That would be the definition of grit. There was a judge in a certain city, he said, who neither feared God nor cared about people. A widow of that city came to him repeatedly saying, give me justice in this dispute with my enemy. The judge ignored her for a while, but finally he said to himself, I don't fear God or care about people, but this woman is driving me crazy. I'm going to see that she gets justice because she is wearing me out with her constant requests. Then the Lord said, learn a lesson from this unjust judge. 
Even he rendered a just decision in the end. So don't you think God will surely give justice to his chosen people who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? So there you have it. You know, there's a there's a woman who who was um, persistent, right? She kept going back again and again and again. She had that grit. She had that fortitude. You know, when I think of grit and fortitude, I think of, you know, long-term endurance athletes, right? I think of, you know, special forces soldiers in training. You know, you think of people that just against all adversity keep going and going and going. You know, what greater adversity is there than, you know, the adversity that, that Satan, you know, puts in all of our paths? You know, I think of, um, uh, I take you know, the lessons of, of this woman here, you know, she, she had persistence in her faith, you know, I think, well, how does this apply to me personally? You know, I think the exercise aspect, I, I like that. I get that. That's not, not as difficult to me. You know, I think of the, let's think of the spiritual aspect, you know, and, um, uh, what's adversity and discouragement, you know, that I face obstacles in ministry, right? Obstacles in growth in our local church, in our uh, local community, you know, it's like, we're all trying to get, we think the same place, but we've we face adversity here and there. And you kind of get frustrated along the road. And you're like, guys, what are we trying to do? We're all trying to do ministry and bring people into Christ. You know, what Christ tells us, there's going to be, you know, obstacles, there's going to be, um, you know, uh, roadblocks in our path, but there's encouragement to keep going again and again and again. You know, Christ calls us to have that grit. He calls us to have that persistence. He calls us to have that perseverance and that passion. You know, specifically um, here in um, Galatians 6, verse 9, in the New Living Translation, it said, so let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. <clears throat> you know, and sometimes that's a that's a frustrating thing, you know, a frustrating pill to swallow. You know, when um, you're trying to get momentum, you're trying to get success, you're trying to do weight loss and you slip up and you can't lose the pounds, you know, but we know there is... Um, there is salvation. There is a goal at the end. You know, there is uh, our eternal salvation with Christ, right? You take the, the physical aspect, there is that decrease in all cause of uh, morbidity and mortality. Um, you know, um, Christ calls to persistence. We know there's a goal in the end. Uh, we can't let uh, Satan and the obstacles that are putting against us pull us down. You know, so I want us to take this, uh, that text, Galatians 6, 9, you know, apply it to our life, apply it to your your every day, your journey here, and let's not get tired of doing what's good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. So I'm going to give a, a little prayer, and I'm going to have Miss uh, Sandra come back in and lead us into the prayer portion of this talk. So let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you so much for this day. We thank you for you know, the opportunity for a, a new year, you know, here um, on earth, we kind of always use this as a time to, to reset, to set goals um, for the year. You know, we have um, physical goals. More importantly, we have spiritual goals, Lord. Um, you tell us that those to obtain a goal, it takes persistence. It takes uh, passion. It takes perseverance. You know, and there will be obstacles. Well, there will be obstacles. Uh, there will be those who, who fight against us. There will be, um, you know, temptations. There will be all sorts of obstacles and roadblocks in our path, Lord. But you call us to be persistent. You tell us in your word uh, to be persistent. The benefits of persistent, Lord, we know uh, the ultimate goal of uh, salvation, Lord. Please give us that persistence. Give us the encouragement. Give us the grit, the fortitude to keep pressing on, Lord, in, in your name. Uh, help us to encourage others, to bring others with us, Lord. Um, help us to uh, carry up um, your name, your word. Help us to move forward, Lord. And um, just bless us in our, our goals, our faith, and our journey uh, this coming year, Lord. 
Thank you so much for this day. We thank you so much for our church community. Um, be with us um, as we start this day off. Um, help us to march into the day, carrying your light to the world. Let me pray, Lord. Amen. 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 Awesome. Thank you so much, Jacob, for such a, a relevant presentation at this time of the year when we need that so much. We need the grit, the passion, and the perseverance in our physical and our spiritual lives. In fact, um, it's a holistic effort. We need it in our emotional lives as well. Uh, we need it socially. And at this time, we're going to be praying. We're going to pray and ask the Lord to give us the grit, give us the perseverance and the passion that we need um, so that we can be better persons. You know, uh, Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and man. So where, wherever you are right now in your homes, please, let's pray. Let's pray and ask the Lord to just to come into our lives and give us what we need. Give us the passion, give us the grit and the perseverance so that we can be better people to serve him. Let's pray at this time, wherever you are in your homes, with your families, just get into an attitude of prayer. Oh, our loving God, we, we praise you for sharing, for sharing your word with us. We praise you for allowing us to participate in your mission on this planet. Thank you for the joy of service and the joy of engaging in the work, of bringing people to you. Lord, sometimes we feel discouraged. Yeah, and ready to give up. But we pray that you will give us the perseverance and the spiritual grit that we need to do the work that you have called us to do. Thank you that you will bless. You will bless, Lord, and you will see the fruit of, the, of our ministry. Because, Lord, you said that Paul preached that Paulus watered, Paul sowed the seed, Paulus watered, but you are the one who gives the increase. So we come to you this morning in faith, asking you to strengthen our, our, our lives, strengthen our, our perseverance. Lord, you are the most persevering person in the universe. You did not give up in your ministry of interceding and intervention. No matter what Satan and sinners throw at, throw at you, you are still you. Lord, you gave yourself, yourself to us in love. We're in awe, O oh God, of you. Teach us how to remain steadfast and how to persevere even when we become discouraged. We thank you, Jesus. You are worthy to receive all power and all glory and all honor. Amen. Amen. Let us continue to pray. The Lord understands even our thoughts. And at times um, when we can't even pray, when the words are not available, the Bible says the Holy Spirit intercede with us with groanings which cannot be uttered. So even in our silence, we talk to the Lord. Amen. So right now, please, please play, play, place those prayer requests in the chat passes. We want to be praying on your behalf. We want to see those prayer requests going up, those unspoken requests. Place them in the chat so that pastor who will be coming on um, in short order to pray on your behalf. Good morning, Panama City Saints. 
Thank you so much, Sister Sandra. And also thank you to uh, Jacob Martin, who led us today. Uh, as we move forward, just like Sister Sandra said, feel free to drop down in the comments area your prayer requests. I did see um, Sister Lola Blake, who uh, continues to present the prayer request to pray for uh, Dolores, who's going through surgery. So we're going to pray for Dolores as well. Before I pray, and uh, as you continue to drop down those comments, I just want to go back and linger a little longer in the text that Jacob presented, Galatians 6, 9. And let us not grow weary, is what it says, of doing good. For in due season we will reap if we do not give up. Uh, so I pray that we're able to keep this passage in our minds today as we consider grid, passion, and perseverance. Let us not grow weary of doing good. And my favorite part is in due season, we will rip. So we're going to have a first word of prayer regarding this passage, and then we're going to pray for uh, the, uh, the request that we may have in the chat. Okay, so let us pray. Dear God, we come before you this Monday morning to start the work week, the work week. I pray, Lord, that you may give us the perseverance and the greed, the grit that can, we can continue, Lord, to do good, to not be worried or, or get worried or of being the ones uh, with, with the right attitude at, at work, the ones showing Christ-likeness in our relationships. May we not get tired, Lord, of being the one taking the high road as we go down this life, Lord, sometimes following you is a narrow road that leads us to get worried, Lord, because we feel like we are by ourselves. We feel that there's no other one trying to do this uh, right things or ethical things. I pray, Lord, that in the same way that you showed Elijah that there were uh, 7,000 of your prophets, Lord, still, and he was not by himself, that you may show us that we can continue to persevere because just like we are trying to do what's right before your eyes, that uh, 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 you are with us, that there's many angels, that heaven is around us to give us the grid and the perseverance to move forward to take the high road, to be like Christ in situations where our heart and our humanity tells us otherwise. So I pray that you may show yourself strong this morning as we continue to uh, do good, because in the proper time we will reap according to your sovereign will. So I pray that as we navigate through the difficulties of life, it might be a, a difficult time uh, within our marriage. Help us to be more like you and do good. It might be a difficult time at work. Help us to be more like you and do good. It might be a difficult situation at church. Help us to uh, take the high road and do good. I pray that you may give us the grid, not only to exercise, like uh, uh, Martin said, but also to spiritually get in shape and be in form to do what you are calling us to do. I pray, Lord, that you may give us such a perseverance. And I pray in the name of Jesus and all God's people say, amen and amen. Now we do have several prayer requests in the chat. Uh, Sister Ty is asking for God's children to stay in the ship. So we're gonna pray for that for sure. We're also gonna pray for Sister Nashanda's request. Uh, for members who are ill, we're going to pray for Dolores and also for uh, the Blake family. We're going to pray for the Fisher family for sure. We're going to pray for the Stewart family. Uh, we're also going to pray for family and friends to build a personal relationship with the Lord according to Marcus's request. We're going to pray for uh, Anna, Anna Marie on spoken request, Sister Dana's on spoken request. We're going to pray for Sister Alice 
uh, family and for herself. Thank you for being there, sister. We're going to pray also uh, for uh, Peter Gates' request and deepening her relationship with Christ. Uh, we're going to pray for Sister Sharon's request about the Holy Spirit to fill our homes for sure. And also uh, that's uh, Sister Ty's request as well. We conclude with uh, this request, praying for health on behalf of Sister Carmelita, uh, who, who's requesting a prayer request. We have one final prayer request for restoration on behalf of Sister Shayla's daughter in Puerto Rico. If you do have any other prayer requests, let us know in the chat area. Now let's bow our heads and let us just uh, spend some time presenting those before the throne of grace. Lord, you've listened to your children prayer, praying. You've heard that mention I uttered, and they have typed down, Lord, this request. Some of them are unspoken. Some of them are dealing with family. Some of them are dealing with spiritual aspects. Some of them are dealing with marriages, Lord. Some of them are dealing with parenting and health and provision, Lord. What a great blessing it is to know that there's nothing that escapes your own knowing attribute, that you know all things. You know our concerns, our cares, you know our goals, our desires, Lord. You know our, the things that are keeping us awake at night. But what a great blessing it is to know that the Bible tells us that we can seek and it may be given to us. So this morning, we want to persevere and linger a little longer in your presence. This morning, we come, Lord, like that widow, and we want to insist and persist. We are not going to get tired. We are not going to uh, 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 get weary of asking you and crying out to you, Lord, so that you may answer and listen to our cry, Lord. We don't do this out of a, a, a bold and 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 disrespectful manner. We do this in humility, knowing that if we are going to be transformed this morning, it is because of you. It is because of your sovereign mercy and your sovereign will that we have the opportunity to bring about change in our lives. So we pray for the Holy Spirit, that latter rain to fall upon us. We're praying for those who need to stay in the ship so that they may not go anywhere. You are the head of this church. You are the one who is leading out. So we pray for endurance, grit, and perseverance. Lord, those who are thinking on leaving their marriages, Lord, I pray that you may give them as well the grit and the perseverance to move forward in faith, to find opportunities to commune with you first, the author and perfecter of faith, and he who is loved to provide them with the love that is necessary to remain faithful to her spouses or his spouse. Lord, I pray that you may continue to be with us and give us the endurance and the grit that is necessary to do what needs to be done in this life. The enemy is attacking us left and right. We know that the time is short. We can see, Lord, everything that's happening around us and everything points at the fact that you are at the door. So I pray, Lord, that you may give our families the strength necessary to move forward in faith, that you may give our, our, our church the strength necessary, Lord, to remain faithful, to fix their eyes upon you and to continue to do well. I want to pray, Lord, for Sister Dolores. I want to pray for Eliana. I want to pray, Lord, for uh, Sister Nashanda and her family. They have requested that we may intercede on their behalf. I do not know if we may have some other prayer requests, but we pray also on behalf of Sister uh, Anna's request, the situation in Israel and this war. The Bible tells us that we, at the end of time, will hear wars and rumors of wars and this is just signs that we need you more than ever before. So we pray for restoration and peace in the Middle East. I know that this is also a prophetic situation and something, Lord, that uh, it's, it's been foretold. So I pray, Lord, that 
the God of peace may intercede, that the God of peace may bring sense and to, the, to their senses, Lord, those who participate of this situation. I pray that you may care and you may uh, keep those innocent lives. Continue, Lord, to bless them and be with them. We also want to pray for grace, not to give in or give out. We want to pray, Lord, that in the power of Jesus Christ, she may be kept for your glory. Lord, there's many unspoken prayer requests in our midst. There's many unspoken situations that we may not know of that we want to keep confidential, and that's our right. But it is a great blessing that this morning, in day seven of our uh, uh, day six of our uh, um, ten days of prayer, we have the opportunity to type in and say we have unspoken requests because that is an act of faith. So I pray, Lord, for the blessing of Your Holy Spirit to take a hold of us as we do. Uh, work throughout this day. May we get closer to you. May we commune with you. And may we make you the priority of our lives. Give us the grid, the perseverance, and the opportunity to know that he who sits on high lays low and listens to our cry. So we claim your promises that are yes and amen. We claim, Lord, the fact that you are our God that you are all-knowing, that you are a faithful God, and we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for the restoration and the healing that we find in you. We thank you for the answers that are provided when we come and we ask of you. So, Lord, as we present and lay out our cares at the foot of the cross, may we now rest knowing that you are with us, for us and not against us. Thank you for this day of prayer as we start our day. And as we go about the rest of our day, give us the assurance that we can count on you. I pray these things, not in my merits, but in the merits of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you, Panama City Saints. It is a great blessing to come early in the morning, just like the Bible says or the song says, in the morning when I rise, give me Jesus. And we spend some time with Jesus. We appreciate you for spending this time with, with us. Tomorrow, we will meet online one more time, okay? We will meet, meet here online one more time. And um, I hope that you're able to bring your cares uh, to Jesus. I hope that you're able to tell others that we are going to have this program. Tomorrow is day seven, and we're going to talk about the value of be being kind, the value of being kind. So thank you so much to Sister Sandra and uh, Jacob Martin. Thank you so much to each of you for being there today, and we will encourage you to join us tomorrow. Sister Shayla, we will pray for traveling mercies as you get back home Wednesday. Thank you for being there. God bless you. And uh, we will see you tomorrow. Feel free to share the broadcast even after it is concluded so that others are able to enjoy this time of prayer. God bless you. Continue to pray for our church. Remember, we connect, we equip, and we grow. Bye-bye.